As part of my experience, I visited different countries and different continents. Uh, the same problem in all the rural areas of the young people is uh, unemployment. Uh, all the youth are really, really looking for employment, but there is no proper employment uh, facilities in all countries. That was the one of the major challenge. And second one is uh, uh, land. So there is no uh, enough land uh, to start their uh, career as agriculture farmer. Uh, land is a second problem. And third one is the migration. Uh, because of the uh, employment situation, unemployment problem, uh, most of the rural youth, they like to migrate from rural to urban. And uh, they, when they are going to migrate uh, in urban areas, they face a lot of challenges even in urban areas, uh, uh, having not even good job, good food, even good shelter. And again, if they want to come back to the uh, own uh, villages or rural areas, they are unable to find a land to start their agriculture career. Everyone is facing that youth are away from agriculture because of the challenges what I explained earlier. So our discussion is how we can bring back the youth to agriculture. To bring back the, uh, to bring back the youth into agriculture, first we need to, first they have to self-organize. The youth has to self-organize. And produce, production is not only the responsibility of farmer, men and women, but also every human being who is consuming food is responsible in agriculture. So the youth has to feel, if everyone goes to, I want to become a manager, I want to become a software engineer, I want to become a something, but then who is going to produce our food? So that is why it is very important for the present generation of youth, they need to self-organize and rethink about the how they are going to work in agriculture and second thing is motivation the motivation is also one of the important we need to motivate the young people to understand the agroecology and sustainable food systems in the world uh, these two key elements we found and third one is agriculture is past present and future there is no end for agriculture maybe other technologies will fluctuates but agriculture will be sustained always because without food we cannot live in the in the world that is why there is a very important need as per our discussion on this table we come a conclusion like that the young people really need the motivation training education on the agroecology systems and uh, motivate them by that way i assure that the young people can understand and they can come back to the agriculture and for a sustainable uh, development of the rural area. That's why as a major movement, we would like to give some training and knowledge and uh, agroecology practices. By that way, they can, they can continue their agriculture. By that way, they will sustain the food systems and agriculture uh, uh, areas in, in, their, uh, in their rural areas.